Oh, so you want free PC apps? Well, don't you worry. I got all of these just for you. Let's go. Very earthy being. What is up people of Earth? Welcome to the most earthly channel here on YouTube. You are watching Very Earthly Being. Today we are noting down the best softwares, well in my opinion, that you can get completely for free. Available in any supported version of Windows. Since Windows 11 is right around the corner, I figured this will be great for Windows users that still enjoys Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and up. These are personally listed down and offered for low-end PC users to obtain the most flexible and useful factors for work, gaming, and all that helpful shenanigans. Timestamps will be seen in the description of this video if you want fast access to the list. Now enough has been said, let's check out these totally free PC applications. Now at our first free application, it is called the OBS Studio. You can get this at their website obsproject.com and let me tell you something. It's one of the most popular screen recorders out there. Plus, it's completely free. Open Broadcaster Software or OBS is a multifunctional app that lets you capture your screen anytime and anywhere. It also gives you super helpful features like being able to live stream to various platforms such as YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and more. With this software, you can tweak many settings of your likings. This software can be used with a very minimum specs so you can be sure your toaster, which what you call a PC, Boy! can run it. <laughs> For me, this free software always makes the job done. We have a complete system volume adjuster called Ear Trumpet. What this app does is it gives you full control of the volume inside the programs that are currently running in your PC. It has sliders that you can manually adjust on how loud or how soft you want the sounds to be. It's really important to have, especially when gaming, to clearly hear the footsteps of your enemies in the middle of your online classes. <laughs> well, nah, I'm just kidding. Please, please don't, Spike please planted. don't take it seriously. <laughs> The third app in our list is called Audacity. The Audacity! Well, to be fair, it's not completely a DAW or DAW or a digital audio workstation. Its main purpose is just for slight tweaking to your vocals to give your voice extra quality. Let's say you want your voice to sound better with effects and basic fine tuning. This app is for you. You can literally make your voice from this you to this. You never gonna let you. This free software provides amazing effects. The basic features such as recording, sounds, splitting, and copy pasting various audio layers. And the special one in here is the ability to add third party plugins to really take full control of the project you want to pull off. This next free software is a Microsoft Office 365 alternative called LibreOffice, which literally makes sense because the span. Wow. Which literally makes sense because the Spanish term for free is called Libre. It has the same features, programs, and elements like an MS Office. So, what's the catch? Well, it's free. I mean, would you spend $70 for the same use? No! The software comes with their version of the well-known programs such as Word, which they call Writer, Excel as Calc Spreadsheets, PowerPoint as Impress Presentations, Drawing Sheets, Math Formulas, database and something I'm a really fan of about this service is that they provide a free 
PDF reader, maker, and editor. However, I am aware of other free programs related to this one like MS Office Online or WPS Office which some speculates that it retrieves personal data. Oh hell no! But it's up to your personal preferences. I won't interfere like the TVA did. Come on, don't you worry. Taskbar X. Finally, I'm not going to take a long time to explain this. The main purpose of this program is to have full manipulation to your taskbar if you want it to look clean or transparent. Automatically centered given the fact that when you open apps, it also adjusts itself to still be in the middle and give your PC a very aesthetic but super professional look. Our sixth app is called Taskbar Groups. I really love this program especially if you want to keep your desktop clean and you just want to have a very similar Mac OS look. This free software is just for you. It makes a specific folder in your device where you can manually edit like adding an app, giving a name to it, and assigning a special icon to that folder. Now that folder will then be allowed to be pinned in the taskbar which is great because in this way you can surely organize your PC as well as having an easy access to your apps. Now this one is very popular especially to those who can't afford wallpaper engine like me. This app is called Lively Wallpaper. It's like a little brother to Wallpaper Engine but gives a similar results and even better. The cool features about this app is that it allows you to pick under default wallpapers which is very cool with motion sensor movements based on your mouse cursor. And you also have the option to make a video either from your picture gallery or getting the link from a specific video on YouTube, GIF, and technically any media that moves be your desktop background. At that point, I think this program is totally OP. I'm not very sure but I think it's only available for Windows 10. How about you give it a try? All links mentioned in this video are in the description. <laughs> At our 8th app, we have GIMP or GNU Image Manipulation Program. It is a free open source photo editor and was intended for Linux users. So you can expect that this app would run smoothly on low-end laptops or PC. This is one of the best alternatives to Photoshop which we will talk about on a specific video soon. It provides most of the features you need to get that perfect image you desire for your thumbnails, project, cover pages, and more. It has many buttons and layouts to be honest but don't get overwhelmed. It's just there to give a faster workflow and clear approach even for new users. It's very user friendly so you can expect to learn fast while finding more ways to build your images that you need. Now moving on to a video editing tool, we have Shotcut. It's a free, interactive, easy-to-use video editing software designed for beginners or people who want to start editing but has no idea how to use one. Not only it is very comfortable to use, but also it doesn't take up much space on your device, which is a good choice for low-end PC users. It has super useful features such as adding keyframes, chroma keying, adding transitions, and putting animation effects. So if you are planning to use a layer-based, simplified, but powerful free video editor, I really recommend using this program. I know that there are a lot of video editing programs out there like The One and Only DaVinci Resolve, Caden Live, or HitFilm Express. But like I said, I listed all the options 
down until I get the ones that are flexible enough to get the work done. And computers that are old or maybe doesn't have the good specs, one app needs to be fully compromised. <laughs> Blender is a free and open source 3D graphics software used in creating animated films, visual effects, art, 3D printed models, motion graphics, 2D or 3D VFX rendering, interactive 3D applications, virtual reality, and even computer games. It's a steal for me especially it's free and it can run smoothly in a low-end laptop like mine. It has many awesome controls to make whatever you have in mind either in 3D and 2D. This program also has a built-in video slash compositing editor so you don't have to keep replacing editing softwares when making a large variety of VFX shots and sequences. Enough said, that was it guys. Make sure to leave a comment if one of these apps inside our list has definitely helped you. You know what's also free? Hitting the like and subscribe buttons to get more great content like this. Well, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.